there's a team of about 30 to 40 people that design a pinball machine. It starts with a game designer. He works with a game programmer, and they decide all the cool stuff that's going to go on in the pinball machine. There's a group of about 10 people that have to be in charge of ordering all this stuff, make sure it gets here on time. All right, hey, welcome to Stern Pinball. To make a pinball machine, you need a bunch of parts. There's about 3,500 parts in a pinball machine. Right here, we're looking at the parts cage. I'll take you guys in here and check it out. See all these parts up on the shelves here, all sorts of different things. You notice one thing that when we go through here, everything's Rojas compliant. This means there's no lead in any of our parts. We export about 50% of our games outside the country. A lot of places you can't import lead. Parts can be anything. I don't know what this does, but it's very important to your pinball machine. One thing a lot of people don't know is that a lot of the parts for pinball are made in Chicago. So right now we're in incoming inspection. We're gonna go through here and see how the guys are gonna look at all the different parts make sure that they're up to our standards. This is a very familiar piece, this is a drop target. So a lot, of the, you, a lot of times you see these in a pinball game, you hit it and it falls down. You see here, he's got this little template. He's going through, making sure that they fit. If they don't fit, we're gonna set it to the side, we're gonna get, get a new one made. Some things are batch tested. We'll, attach, you know, we'll, we'll test about 20% of the parts. If 3% of that 20% are bad, we'll reject the whole lot. So we're here in the wiring harness section. This is the very first step in building a pinball machine. We gotta make sure that we have all the electronic parts available here, so you see what these these ladies are doing back here, they're literally hand assembling wiring harnesses. So there's no robots, no anything like that, just uh, really talented people. We're making these big wiring harnesses. There's about a half a mile to a quarter mile of wire in a pinball machine. There's about five or six harnesses in a game, five or six hours of labor that's gonna go into the pinball machine just in this section of the building. This is a standard cable harness for a cabinet. I see further down the line they're working on some stuff for uh, an ACDC uh, pinball machine which we just brought back from the vault. Now we're done with making the wiring harnesses. You were asking what kind of games we were making. I can see Ghostbusters here, I see Star Wars, more Ghostbusters, Kiss, one of my favorite bands. So all of these now are going to become pinball machines. It's very cool looking. It's like the world's longest friendship bracelet. So we're here in the cabinet department and cabinets come in black like this and you can see you can see what they're doing over here. They're, they're putting on the decals. Looks like they're putting on some Star Wars decals now. So much like you would put a decal on a car or a building or a, uh, a sign like this, it's a wet process. They do uh, soapy water on the top and the bottom. You can see she's spraying on the top and she's gonna take her squeegee, squeegee all that out. What's cool about these decals is that these decals are better than screen printing because they have a much higher resolution and uh, they're much easier to repair. Pinball machines used to be screen printed on the sides, so they used to fade in the sunlight. Uh, if they got scratched, you had to have a guy with a little tiny paintbrush come to your house and, and paint it. So they're running out of guys with tiny paintbrushes. Here, my favorite part of the factory, this is the sub-assembly uh, area, and what they're doing is they're building little sub-assemblies that are gonna go on the play field. This happens to be for our new Star Wars game. This is the Hyperloop, so this is a series of four really powerful magnets they're gonna swing the ball around. We wanna make sure that these sub-assemblies work before we put them on the play field. So as we go through here, you guys can see all sorts of different sub-assemblies uh, for the games, whether it be ramps or back box uh, parts, or whatever it is. You're gonna see really fun stuff. You're gonna see Death Stars, Stay Puft Marshmallow Men, TIE Fighters. We're finally gonna make a pinball machine. This is the play field. This is where everything starts. We're gonna put all the parts on this, on this very important piece of wood. If you didn't have the play field, you couldn't really do anything. So you can see the play field's made its way around the corner here, and now he's put in a bunch of hardware. He's got wood rails, uh, metal ball guides, posts, uh, he's putting in the ball trough. This is gonna be one big piece ready for the assembly line. It's gonna look something like this. You can see the play fields here are starting to get some of those parts pulled over from the sub-assembly. You see some of our, this is a newer game, Star Wars. It's got a much more modern, um, modern under, undercarriage. It's got a bus system of circuit boards as opposed to big relay cables. So you remember we started making those big wiring harnesses. Now we're actually, you see they've been delivered here to this working cell and these guys are, are putting in all the different harnesses. We're gonna make sure that all, all the LEDs are connected, all the circuit boards, all the parts, coils, switches. It's gonna look something more like this when she's done. So now we have this giant play field. I can't pick it up anymore. It's got too many parts on it. It's too heavy for me. We put it on what we call the rotisserie. You can see everybody working here on these different rotisseries. They can flip the game back and forth to work on the different parts. She's got the game now, and this says it's in the coil test. We're using the diagnostics and the computer of the pinball machine to tell us what's going on. When these guys say everything's OK to go, we're going to put it in the cabinet, and we're going to test it again. So now that we've, we've, we've moved our, uh, 
our play field into its what I call its home. It's going to live in this cabinet. You can see it's got a, a modern CPU. Everything's lit with LEDs. We no longer do a fluorescent tube. We have this really beautiful LCD screen now that we use in the game. So we can show a lot more content. When Jose thinks it's good, he's going to show his boss Barty. She has a tag in it. She's going to stamp it. She's going to say it's okay to pack, and then we're going to send it on its merry way. We're going to clean it up. We're going to wax it. We're going to vacuum any of our dust. We're going to put the final decals. You're all clear, kid. Now let's pull this thing and go home. And Han Solo says we're good, so we're good. <laughs>